Good morning, good morning, and welcome on in to North Dakota today on this Thursday morning. I'm Sophia Richards. I'm Janine Larson. Well, I had to ask Janine before we went to air you guys if it was Thursday. My week has been just so off. I literally thought it was Friday yesterday. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, I think it's because the nice weather, you know, it has me in the weekend mood. It's so sunny out, except for when it rained a little bit yesterday. Yes, but, but it's warm, yeah. the, it's light up or laid out when you get up, it's yes. really nice. Well, the vibes are good and spring is here, you guys, which only means one thing, spring cleaning. Oh, yes. Yes, so a new study has shown that 86% of American adults plan to participate in spring cleaning this year and nearly one in four already started in February. So here's some, a statistic that we wanted to share about why people decide to spring clean, which we thought was really interesting. So 79% said it was to remove clutter and free up space. 75% said to make home smell and feel fresh. 51% to feel comfortable having guests over. 50% to spread the, to prevent the spread of germs, excuse me, 41 to remove asthma and allergy triggers. Okay, this is so interesting to me. Yes, I certainly spring clean. So yes. the windows, there's so much dirt oh, and dust yes. and all of that on in there right now. I'm sure all of you are out yep. there <laughs> cleaning your windows and just picking up everything that has blown around from uh -huh. the wind in the window wells and around the house. Yes. Getting out all the fun stuff to put on my front porch, mm -hmm. all the little fun decorations. The spring stuff. Yes. Okay, window cleaning is the worst. That's like my least favorite thing to clean. It is definitely not fun. Yep. <laughs> and you need a lot of paper towels mm -hmm. and a lot of cleaning solution. Yes. But then when you can see out your windows again, True. that is nice. See the bright sunshiny days. I love that. Yes. Well, I'm actually in the process of moving. Oh. So I've been doing like overhaul spring cleaning because you know when you move, you just want to throw everything away. Yes. Yeah, um, my worst thing though, I'm not really a big collector of random things. I feel like as I've gotten older, I've been pretty good about, you know, throwing stuff out once in a while. But my closet, you guys, I have so many clothes. <laughs> but, you know, I just feel like I regret things that I get rid of. Right, because then clothes. you remember when yes. you wore it or mm -hmm. where you bought it and, yeah. and why you like it. And you're like, oh, I wish I had that one pattern dress that I got rid of in 2017. <laughs> that would be perfect with these new shoes I bought. You know, I just live in regret of everything I get rid of. So I've been kind of hoarding things. Well, so now, now's the time. Yep. Now's the time I to know. donate and let go and then you can get new. Yeah, very true. I have been good recently. I've kind of cut back on the online shopping. Okay. And I feel like that has really helped me not regret purchases. You know, like taking the time to go to the mall or the store and then try everything on and be like, okay, do I really like this? Do I really need it? Has really helped me not, you know, want to get rid of as many clothes and like really buying things that I really like. I don't know. Do you do a lot of online shopping? I do. Yeah. I do. I do. And so I feel like the FedEx or the UPS truck yeah. comes all the time down <laughs> our street. Um, and I try to do where if I get rid of something, then I can buy something okay. new. Okay, that's a good so kind of like a swap. Yeah, yes, definitely. I love that. Yeah. So trying to do that, but that's uh, so interior spring cleaning is yes. just as important as exterior. Very just true. Like cleaning the dust and mm -hmm. just really getting your house ready for the windows to be open, letting that fresh air in. Yes. And so I think that helps with everything too. Yeah, absolutely. Well, switching gears a little bit here, the month of April is National Donate Life Month, an effort to raise awareness for the thousands of patients whose lives are saved by organ donations every year. Yesterday, Sanford Health raised the donor flag outside of their facilities for one family, and their personal story with organ donation inspired a garden of healing to give back to the community. Valley News Team's Zachary Whelan spoke with the family about the impact that this garden has had and plans for the future. The Garden of Healing planted its roots in 2021, three years after the son of Sarah and Arlen Fisher passed away in an accident. The vision came while watching the news. We have a lot of physical and emotional suffering in this community. We need to do something about it. For the Fishers, the beauty of the garden not only comes from the blooming of the plants, but from the stories of its visitors. 
A lot of families, whether they're from town or out of town, are looking for some place like this to just come and process the whole um, loss. With April being National Donate Life Month, the Fishers are focusing on organ donation. It's a big inspiration for the garden where the Donate Life flag is always flying, serving as a reminder for those passing by to give back. Right now in the United States, there's over 103,000 people waiting for an organ transplant. And if we can create more awareness about what organ donation is through the garden, we're more than happy to do so. To continue that mission, the garden plans to expand 12-fold, with a plan to grow all the way to 32nd Avenue. The Fishers hope that by expanding, they will be able to better serve the community. The biggest goal of the Garden of Healing is to help our community heal. So if we can have more features, more things that will help our community overcome whatever challenge they're going through, that's a huge win in itself. But beyond helping the community heal, the Garden has helped them to heal as well. Reporting in Fargo, Zachary Wyand, Valley News Live. What a sweet story. Yes, certainly needed and just a wonderful place to go and reflect mm -hmm. and think and have that special place. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the plans for their expansion can be found on their website at gardenofhealingfargo.com. We also have that story linked right to our VNL News app. Well, it's our favorite time of week on Thursdays right here on North Dakota Today. We have partnered with Homeward Animal Shelter to showcase our pets of the week. So we have two really adorable ones this week. And I'm going to kick things off with reading Avatar's bio. Okay. Okay, so I'm Avatar, a big, beautiful marble tabby with giant luminous eyes. I'm quiet, contemplative boy, very attentive and loving, who enjoys the little things in life. A few cat treats every so often, a soft place beside you on the sofa, or a warm sunbeam. I absolutely adore snuggling on laps, creating the coziest kneading motions while make, purring contently. I can be selective with my fellow cat friends, and although I may engage in some friendly banter with them, it's mostly talk and less action. <laughs> I prefer a drama-free environment. On the bright side, I have no qualms about sharing my space with dogs, and I do just fine with kids. I am easy to please and happy to return the favor. If you're seeking a companion who appreciates the finer things in life and is more than ready to return the love, I'm here waiting for someone special to open their heart to me. Could it be you? Love, Avatar. How sweet. Oh, those eyes yeah. are just beautiful. He's handsome. Yes. Oh yes, handsome eyes, yes. yes. <laughs> okay, so I am going to talk about beauty. A delightful, lovely lady with a personality as captivating as her name suggests. And while you won't see her strutting down any formal pageant runways, I promise to steal your heart with my infectious enthusiasm for life and boundless energy. I'm not just a pretty face, I'm the life of the party at any gathering. Always ready for the game of fetch, a spirited tug of war, or a lively wrestling match. My playful spirit knows no bounds and I'm constantly on the lookout for my next adventure. But what truly makes me beautiful goes beyond appearances. It's the joy and love I bring to every mm. interaction, whether it's with my human companions or my furry friends. My wagging tail and bright eyes invite everyone to join in the fun, spreading happiness wherever I roam. How cute. So if you are looking for a playful and loving companion, look no further. I'm here to show you that true beauty lies not just in looks, but in the boundless joy and the love I bring to those around me. Let's make some memories together that will last a lifetime. Love beauty. How sweet. Oh my goodness, both of them. Yes. Well, and you guys, these are just two of the very many, many, many adoptable pets that they have at Homeward Animal Shelter. So if beauty or avatar stole your hearts this morning, or if you're looking for another pet, you know, to spend your life with, then you can head to Homeward online. Wonderful. Just too cute. Yes. And the weather is perfect to be able to yes. play with either of them. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We have a jam-packed show, so don't go anywhere.